this is Mary Ann Candido with Magical Living Coaching. I am excited today because I want to share with you some new developments. I just wanted to let you know that I am concentrating all my coaching expertise in the weight loss arena. It's actually weight release. Let's release the weight, not lose the weight, because when we lose it, we subconsciously want it back. So we are going to be releasing the weight and keeping it off for good and releasing all those old programs that keep us eating bad, keeping us in the snack eating, keeping us with emotional eating, and all those other core reasons why we eat. So I have changed my website, and it's now called www.releasetheweightnow.com. That's releasetheweightnow.com. I hope you come and visit me, sign up for my newsletter, and you'll be getting all sorts of goodies and information and updates on my programs and packages that I will be offering soon. I'm so excited. I'm putting together a whole line of products and packages to support you in your weight release efforts. And I'm there for you every step of the way. I have had a a weight issue all my life so who better than to help you coach coach you along to your weight release goals and visions than somebody who's been there I'm a certified life coach a law of attraction life coach EFT practitioner the one command leader I'm a Reiki uh, practitioner and energy worker and I am here for you so today we are still going to do EFT tapping I have created a signature program that uses EFT tapping, um, but it's not the only component of my weight release system, but it is a very valuable tool and it works tremendous and I love it and it's actually a really big portion of my program, but I'm still going to be do some, doing some of it here on YouTube for you and on my website. So why don't you come and visit me and sign up and see what's new. Okay, so today we're going to tap on um, those association patterns when we eat, so that association eating habits. Like when we go to the movies and we have to have popcorn. Even if you just ate, but you have to have popcorn because you're at the movies and movies mean popcorn to you. Or for me, pasta, uh, pasta dinner on Sunday means lots of Italian bread with the pasta. I don't want to do that. Too many carbs for me. It's just way too heavy. So I want to release those uh, some of those associations. So what are some of your associations? Have you thought about what you food associations you have and um, which ones you'd like to release now? So why don't you go ahead and tap along with me with your association issues and just substitute your food associations instead of mine. Okay, so let's go and uh, here we go. Even though I always eat popcorn when I go to the movies, I still deeply and completely accept myself. Even though it's just a really bad habit that I eat popcorn when I go to the movies, even if I'm not hungry, I still deeply and completely accept myself. Even though it's an automatic habit that I eat popcorn when I go to the movies, I still deeply and completely accept myself. This associative eating of eating popcorn when I go to the movies. I have to eat popcorn when I go to the movies. This habit of eating popcorn when I go to the movies. I have to have popcorn when I go to the movies. I have to have popcorn when I go to the movies. I have to have popcorn when I go to the movies. This association between movies and popcorn. I have to have popcorn when I go to the movies. I have to have popcorn when I go to the movies. Okay, so I'm going to do the turnaround stage with the affirmations ready to release it. Um, okay, it's time to release this association now. This food association doesn't serve me at all. I really don't want to eat if I'm not hungry. And I really choose to eat healthier foods than movie popcorn. I can release this association now. It feels good to make a choice from my conscious self and have that awareness. It's okay to release this food association. It's time to release this food association now. It doesn't serve me anymore. Okay, so what came to me when I was tapping that were just visions of my childhood 
And that was always a fun thing to do with my friends, was go to a movie on a Saturday and have popcorn. It was my time with my friends. I felt uh, carefree. I felt on my own and independent. Uh, it was just a really fun time for me. And so since that vision came to mind, I think I'm going to go ahead and tap on that, the whole issue of missing my childhood, miss, missing that carefree um, aspect of my life with no responsibilities, where life was all about fun um, and movies were fun and eating popcorn at the movies with my friends was fun. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on that since that came to me during this um, the tapping. And usually when something comes to you, it is a clue as to where you need to tap next to clear something, okay? So let's go for it. Even though I miss that carefreeness, that no responsibility, like when I was a child, I still deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I really miss being a kid, because life was all about fun, and movies, and friends, and popcorn. I still deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I really miss that being a carefree child, I still deeply and completely accept myself. I miss having no responsibilities in life. I miss being a carefree child. I miss life just being fun. I really want more fun in my life. I really miss not having, I really miss that uh, being a kid and not having responsibilities. I really miss being a kid and not having bills to pay. I really miss being a kid and eating whatever I wanted. I really miss being a kid and spending lots of time with my friends, having fun, going to the movies, eating popcorn, doing whatever I wanted because it was all about fun. Okay, and I'm going to do some affirmations regarding this one, okay? I can release this feeling of missing my childhood now. My adult life is fabulous. I can bring more fun into my life now as an adult. Responsibilities are there, but I can just change my outlook on them. I can increase my life to have more fun. I can have more balance in my life. It's time to release that missing my childhood. I'm in a different stage of my life now, a wonderful stage of my life. It feels really good to be at the stage of my life that I'm in. I don't have to associate food with my childhood and the movies. I can release that. It's okay. I can embrace life today, right now, as an adult. Okay, well that feels really, really good to me. I feel like it brings me to a really peaceful place, um, peaceful in, in my body, peaceful in my age, peaceful where I'm at, and also that it is up to me to ensure that I have more fun in my life, that I can make more fun. It's just my choices I make. And that responsibilities don't have to be this heavy weight, that they can be shifted. If I just shift my perception on the responsibilities and add more fun into my life, I can clear some of this issue of that, you know, wanting to be a child again and be have no responsibilities and have nothing but fun. Life is about fun and it's up to us how we incorporate it as we get older. So I'm really excited about what came up. Um, it's This is really cool to see. I already have plans Saturday to join a few friends I haven't seen in, in a probably, oh goodness, six months or so. I'm really excited. Uh, so that's going to be so much fun. And, and I know that if I put my mind to it, I can 
look for ways to incorporate more fun into my life. Okay, and I'm, I will let you know if I go to the movies. I don't go very often anymore, but if I go, I'll let you know how that trigger is with the whole popcorn issue. Okay, so hopefully you had some great, great experiences and, and releases too. Join me in a day or two and we'll tap on something else that comes up. Okay, Magical Journeys, and come check out my website. Sign up for my newsletter so you know about all the things that are going to be happening in the very near future. ReleaseTheWeightNow.com Have a great and fabulous day.